Negative. Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mac Warrior Online, this is TTB speaking, still not over the flow, but on the mend, so as my voice progressively gets better, hopefully so will my gameplay. And today we're playing the Black Lanner, the BKL-Prime variant to be exact, he's coming with ECM, with 4 heavy medium lasers, and with 1 heavy large laser, and we'll basically use this to be a backstabbing ECM covered, well you could probably say this is a Hellbringer light and we will try and play it as such. Now we've got our assassin teammate over here in Echo 4, we've pushed into the enemy side of the map here on River City and it looks to me like we are very very deep in enemy territory right now. That is a disconnected Orion, um, well our assassin buddy is going straight for him so you know what. If he's gonna take him down, we might just go ahead and take one pot shot as well. It won't hurt, and I don't wanna go in alone on the enemies on the other side of the map, so let's just go ahead and see if we can shoot him. Nope, that did not hit the cockpit. Okay, I aimed a little bit too high. Never mind though, he's gonna be dead in a sec. There we go. Okay, now we can get back to the match at hand. Now we have two mechs, two medium mechs behind the enemy lines, and if the enemy is not very careful right now and actually turns around, then we should be able to backstab them very, very well. That's target beta, that's not what I want to see. I want to see some targets. What do we have over there? There was a medium or heavy sized mech over there. And it is a Timberwolf. Okay. Marking him with target spotted, hoping that my teammate will go ahead and work with me to go in and take him out from behind. I'm just gonna hide behind this fuel cell right here. Just biding my time. There's a teammate going in, so now it's time to pounce. Let's see what we can do over here. Where's the Timberwolf? Uh, no, he must be over to the left side, so let's have a look in between those buildings and whoop, oops, there he is, there he is. Back turned towards us, let's give him a nice burn on the side throw, so come on, come on, come on, here we go. Well, we almost took it off. Almost, unfortunately, not quite fully, but uh, that enables our teammate to go in from the back as well. His side toes is now red. Unfortunately, we're facing him right now. I don't want to do that. He's got uh, lots of lasers, so let's go around this corner and then turn around and go the other way. And hopefully he's engaged with our teammate now. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to shoot a teammate that has overheated. Teammate is distracting him. We go into his back and burn through the CT. Nice. Good teamwork. And guys, if you see somebody giving you an opening like that, take the opening and make it count. Make that shot count. Okay. So we're moving in and we see the enemy. Half the enemy team, especially all the assault mix, are clustered in the water. There's an airstrike dropped on their faces. Beautiful. Okay. We can just go ahead and keep shooting them in the back. We have a king crab there, we have a battle master there with ER lasers. So we need to be a little bit careful about that. And we also need to be very careful about our heat because this build I mean, this mech is not fully skilled, of course, but let me tell you, it runs hot as hell. You need to make sure that you really, really cool down to about, I would say, 20% heat before you shoot a full alpha, or else you will just go ahead and overheat and uh, slowly but surely melt through your mech. Now, that battle master right here, 6 ER LH laser loadout, if you see something like that, it's either a very hot running light engine, or it is a very cool running XL engine, and it is actually a light engine build, because if that was XL, I would have killed him right now. So, um, don't don't build a battle mass like that, guys. Go with the XL engine, and uh, just have superior positioning. It's much better, because you can shoot a lot more with the XL engine, it keeps it much cooler. Okay, so, moving on into the middle area right here. Our team is very, very far ahead, 8 kills to 1 at this point, so it's just mop-up duty. That is an enemy victor, I don't want to mess with him up front. Let's see if we can get some more backstabs in, shall we? Oh yeah, Black Knight CT open, let's go ahead. Constant a burst through his CT. A little bit off, I hit a little bit off the side toss there as well, but that's fine. Oh, and look at that, another opportunity, let's take it. Boom, done. Yeah, that is how fast you can get kills with this mech. It is basically, as I said, a very, very fast Hellbringer with reduced firepower. Um, of course, you build it a little bit differently. You would build it with heavy larges and uh, heavy mediums instead of just normal ER mediums, but the principle is basically the same. And I think it works quite well. Just make sure, as with the Hellbringer, 
to really, really take your time aiming. Don't shoot if you don't have a clear kill shot or if you don't have a shot that will take off a component or something like that. Free killing blows, forces, one solo kill, two KMDDs, 463 damage done, five components taken out. You know what? Not too bad of a start, right? Alright, let's jump into the next match over here on HPG. Okay, so business as usual will try to secure the top if possible and we'll just use our heavy mediums and heavy large lasers to dish out some pinpoint damage on any target that we can see. So, oh yeah, that's a target I can see. Here we go. That was one shot without any counter fire directly on the Madcat. We need to be a little bit careful though. Again, the heat dissipation is very, very slow. And if I had shot my heavy large at the same time as well, I would have overheated here. So, need to be very, very careful. However, we did some good damage on the death strike. He is almost ready to yeah, lose the side up, torso, but there's the side torso gone. So, one more good burn should actually finish up, him. Let's try and see if we can help it. Nope, we didn't, and we actually overheated. So, by the way, guys, this was actually the first match I played with this build. Um, so, there's a reason why I'm cautioning you to against overheating with this one. <laughs> it's really, really easy to do with this build, so you need to have good firing discipline if you're playing this, and uh, play smart. Target. Don't play too go happy. And there is the Mad Cat, we finally claimed the kill. Okay, that is good for us, now we can go ahead and not go to the right side because for some reason enemy is moving into Echo 4 and that might be painful for us. So let's go ahead and try and take a central position against that. Maybe over here on this side. Uh, let's see, the Novakat is too far away. We can shoot the Assassin, however, the teammate walking back unfortunately knocked off my aim a little bit. Yeah, Annihilator Ass was in the way. Oops, and there's targets up there. Let's get down here very, very fast. Okay, that could have been very, very hurtful. Luckily, we didn't get too much fire in our, uh, in our face. So we have Heidel down there. Okay, and as you can see, that was a bad shot on my part. Um, didn't take the time to aim. I knew the guy was going back into cover. But I still shot, and Hello. the thing you do is you just bring right in a now, fraction boy. of your damage, and you actually go ahead and you just risk your mech either overheating, or you're just building up heat in a mech that is not very good at dissipating heat. This mech is built for speed, um, it has a huge engine, and because of that, it is very fast, yes, but it also means that you are very limited in terms of armaments, and especially in terms of cooling, so you need to be very careful with that. That is an Alliator that for some reason just likes to shoot me. That's okay. Let's see, he is a CT open almost. Let's go in and uh, take him out. One sec, here we go. Line up the shot and then um, try and burn him down. Luckily we got him. I think there was an ammo explosion or something. Um, unfortunately there was a teammate that jumped right in front of me that partially blocked the shot. So he didn't get killed. Or he, he almost didn't get killed. Well, I guess lucky me then. Okay. And as you can see, I'm just trying to keep out of line of sight using my ECM, going in, shooting once, and then just darting away again. That's how you play this mech. Yeah, hit and run. Kinda like with the Hellbringer, only that you are a little bit faster and have a little bit smaller silhouette, so it's a little bit more forgiving in terms of um, placement, in terms of movement, but uh, you can't take as much punishment, of course, so you need to be careful. Now, our team is just. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing to move forward, there's enemies in their back and they're right at their heels and I'm just going caps lock now. Turn around! Because, like, why, why keep running? These guys are faster, they're gonna catch you, so just turn around and kill them. Sometimes it's literally that simple. Unfortunately, um, I will see, we'll see about that. There's a wolfhound up here, just trying to do as much damage as possible and I think I can go into override here, get another shot off and uh, be okay. Turns out, I wasn't. That little bit actually melted through my CT. So, now you understand why I said you need to be very, very careful with the heat in this mech. And uh, try not to go into override. Or if you go, just go barely into it and then, uh, you know, just don't melt your mech like TTB just did, because that's stupid. Oh, and here we've got one of the infamous B Victors, okay. Triple AC20. Well, the Nova Cat should be no problem for him. One shot to the CT should take him out. Of course, if you hit the CT, that, that helps. And the next thing to do would probably take out this friendly Hellbringer here. He is CT open. Yeah, this should be a sure kill. Come on, come on. 
Nope, for some reason he decides to switch targets and he doesn't get the Hellbringer. Okay, that could have been a kill in the Hellbringer. But nevertheless, uh, 5 kills against 12. Enemy team wins! Well guys, let me know what you think of the Black Leno so far. Have you actually bought it? What are your uh, experiences so far with it? I think it's a very situational mech. Um, I don't think it's gonna be one of my favorite mechs ever, but I haven't played it enough yet to be able to make a 100% decision on that yet. But this build so far is one I like, and I encourage you to go ahead and try it out. But before we go into the build, let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. 2 killing blows, 2 assists, 573 damage done, 4 components taken out, and a little bit of team damage, and a suicide! Because I melted through my own self. Oh well. Still top damage on the team though. <laughs> Okay, the build, as I said, is nothing crazy, one heavy large laser in the left torso and the rest is just filled up with heavy medium lasers and double heat sinks as well as one clan ECM and as I said, the big challenge here is not slots, the big challenge here is the tonnage because you've got an XL385 engine in there and that takes up a lot of space, so you are limited in terms of how much cooling you can bring on this mech. Well, try it out, let me know how it goes for you. GTB out!